Hi, thanks for watching my video. I have been um, going through the the world editor and looking at a lot of the new things that have been added in this most recent update, the version 032 update. And there's a lot of really cool new things in here. But I want to show you the first one, and I'm going to make a series of videos explaining a lot of these new features. So the first one I want to show you is go to Window, Experimental, and then Vehicle Detail Viewer. And this little window will pop up here. And open up like we'll do left. Close that down. Whoops. Window. Um, where was it? Experimental. Detail viewer and open and let's bring that over here and now let's press F11. We'll get rid of we'll put that over here. Put that over here. So when you drive your vehicle now and you click on this, it's like this is orange right here. So you want to click on this, make sure that one's orange, and drive your vehicle. And you can get this cutaway. Of your vehicle but if you press shift and scroll with your mouse button you're actually going through layer by layer and having a view of your vehicle so you can get like if you want to see the suspension work look how cool that is you hit a bump or hit a rock you can uh, hit shift and scroll and get to the engine. You can zoom in on it, move it. Now drive or hit this rock up here. Look at that. Amazing. Can you imagine the the Beam MG? developer that had to deal with this and create that and all the, the work it took to do that. Simply amazing. And let me uh, let me exit this. Go to another level and I want to show you one more thing there. So here we are in um, grid map V2 and I got the Gavril Blue Buick. Blue Buck. And I want to show you something really cool with this vehicle or any drag vehicle. It's really cool in drag racing cars to watch the suspension work during a launch. So we'll do the, uh, we'll just do the, the side view again. Look how big that box is. Kind of shrink that. Hey, look at that. You can shrink it up. Let's uh, highlight that and press shift and then scroll. Scroll with the mouse button. Right about there. Amazing. Let's see what happens if we go over to the engine. See if we can watch the Let's get rid of this view. Go to a front view. Let's zoom in on that. Hit shift and scroll in. There we go. Let's see what happens if we run into something.
right, let's see how how it what will happen up here on the screen when it hits. Look at that. Wow, it deforms up there too. Very nice. Very well done to the the BeamMG developers for coming up with something like that. So here's another thing I wanted to show you. So the next thing I wanted to show you is one of the new things that developers always said they would add. Uh, it's always been in the works and I've been waiting for it forever. Press escape, options, graphics, scroll down. And detailed mirrors, supported vehicles only. Click on that, and these are all the re this, these are the settings for it. There's three: resolution, detail, and distance. You can just hover over, and it'll tell you a little bit about each one. And then you look, you can see the detailed reflections in the mirrors. And anybody that's been following BMMG for since like version 024, you remember the graphics in the mirrors used to be choppy, and they look like like an 8-bit video game. Another thing that you can do is press escape and go into vehicle config, go into tuning and hit mirror adjustments and this window pops up and you can actually, let's get like in the driver's seat and you can actually adjust the mirrors. Look at that. Apply and go to the other side. Kind of look out the window here. You can adjust that one left, right, up, down hit apply and then the same thing for the rearview mirror very very cool and hit apply so anyways that's the first two things in a series of videos that I wanted to share with you and there's going to be more to come I want to do one on the uh, script AI editor and there's a, v a vehicle decal editor that was added up here I want to make one on that too so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.